<coughs> Duncan, just over here. Edward? Hello, Edward. I found a man to purchase my remaining sugar. Huh? Quite a coup, I must say. He just called you Edward. Oh, that's the merchant who sailed me here. Out of caution, I gave him a false name. Ah, well done. We'll catch up on it later. Very punctual, Duncan. This way. Here he is. A man both Templars and Assassins have sought for over a decade. I am told your surname is Roberts. Is this so? You recognize this, I think. According to old tales, the blood of a sage is required to enter the observatory. We have the key. Now we need only its location. Roberts will be eager to provide it. Transfer him to my residence. Such a fuss over one man. Is the observatory really such a grand prize? See, si, seen do that. The observatory was a tool built by the precursor race. Its worth is without measure. Precursor race? I see. One of your early letters mentioned a desire to kill the Mayan mentor, Atabai. Were you able to carry out this contract before coming here? I... I was not, no. Too many complications along the way. A pity. But the maps you delivered with the blood vial will see that job finished. Aye. That's the idea. I don't like this route, Torres. We're exposed. Something is off. Stay close, Grandmaster. I feel it too. Do not let them get their hands on the sage, at whatever cost. Assassins! Above! They're on the rooftop! Watch the streets and alley. They could be anywhere. Hang back and make this easy on both of us, mate! You can't run forever, mate. Well done, lapdog. Quiet. 
We'll see him to the prisons, Grandmaster. Double the watch. Well, I'll be buggered. What an active day we've had, gents. See, set on all sides by our enemies, we must be more cautious. I do wish I could remain to see our drama done, but I must avail myself of these winds and sail for England. By all means, Captain, speed and fortune to you. With luck, I'll return myself a governor. And with my idiot king's blessing, no less. Adios. As for you, Mr. Walpole, I consider this the first payment in a long-term investment. Gracias. Obliged. I would like you to be present for the interrogation tomorrow. Call around noon. Yes, sir. God, sink me for this pittance. One thousand reals for those maps. That's what? A hundred pound at most? How's a man supposed to become rich in these times with a miser like Torres running the world? Have you ever, um, you ever worked on a plantation before? You know what I'm thinking? I'd like to see this observatory the governor's going on about. He said it were like a device that could follow people around and show where they were. <laughs> a ludicrous idea. Imagine my wife with such an advantage over me. Imagine what a thing like that would be worth. Sell that to the right person, and I'd be the richest pirate privateer in the West Indies. I'll catch you up, Bonnet. There's a sage in that house I must speak to in private. No te muevas. Vuelve, o lo haremos por las malas. No de 
es un paso más. Captain Pissoff. Make her both peace off. Where is the sage? You set him free. I had nothing to do with that. Much as I wish I did. Take him to the ports. Send him to Sevilla with the treasure fleet. Oh, wait now! I delivered your treasures, didn't I? You did, yes. But you robbed us of Duncan Warhol. <laughs> a despicable display. This Tusspot is a ruined man, Caroline. Unfit for life on land, much less at sea. If he goes to the West Indies, it's you who'll suffer. Father! Father! Come, love. Up with you now. That old muckworm! He's wrong about me! I hope it's so. You believe me, don't you? Can you not see me? Standing out there on the deck of a ship that's sliding into port. And there I am, a man of quality, with a thousand doubloons spilling from my pockets, like drops of rain. I can see it. La cena, cómetela rápido. You hungry? Now what's your plan, mate? Find the weapon and steal a ship. Unlucky lads. Christ, the seas are uneasy today. Hurricane coming. Hurricane. Jesus. We're stealing a bridge. Hey, take what you need. Won't be a minute. There's many prisoners held on these ships. Set them free, and they'll sail with us, no question. So that's the idea, then. Free what men we can, then find a fast ship to flee in. Aye, there's a brig in this fleet. I'll make my way to it. Sailing with me. I follow you to hell for this, mate. Que nos está retrasando. 
ya deberíamos haber hecho la mitad de la ruta a las Bermudas. Oro, plata... Come on, lads. If we're to drown today, it won't be here. There's a brig nearby just waiting for us to take her. Going topside. Be ready. And killed everybody. Got me a ship. Watch on those galleons. See, they don't. They won't. Far too slow for this weather. Mark any orders you think wise, mate. We're up against it here. These men know their place. They'll see us home. Look out, man! I see it. My god, we pulled this one straight from the teeth of Neptune. I'm Edwin. Much thanks for your aid back then. Adewale. Never been to Nassau, Adewale. Not yet. My god, she took some knocks, didn't she? I think I'll keep her.
calling her the Jackdaw. A sly bird I loved as a child back in Swan. <clears throat> a dark little creature, no? Did it rub you wrong when I took this brig as mine own? <laughs> it was the sort of rub I have learned to enjoy, sailing among faces of such fairness. It's true. Most of these men wouldn't accept you as a captain. So what fair role would complement such unfairness? I'll be your quartermaster. Nothing less. All right. And as quartermaster, have you any immediate counsel for this Tyro captain? Rest and repast would do us good before Nassau. Water for drinking. Hunting for food and repairs. Well reasoned, sir. Hunting, it shall be. We'll find a decent place to drop anchor. Down, sold sail! Pull hearty, lads! Fill those men! Boy, Captain, find what you need. My needs and wants are oceans apart, mate. But I did fashion myself a new holster. All I need now is a pistol to lie in it. Yeah. Taken from the holds, just as you said. A little more than a blowpipe. But it'll do. So, are we rested? Or should we idle a while longer? Best way, Anchor. I think the crew is itching to reach civilization. You'll find no civilization in Nassau. But it's a fine place to be merry all the same. By God, you're a sight for salty eyes. Come you in and have a drink. Morning, all. Why can't we? Who's this? Adewale, the Jackdaw's quartermaster. Jackdaw. <laughs> you named your brig after a poxy bird. Mm. Adi, these lads are the better part of our growing confederacy here. Ed Thatch, Ben Hornigold, James mm. Kidd. You let him carry a pistol, do you? Peace, Ben. Ade saved my life. And now we're looking to find a crew to fill out the rest of my ship. Well, there's scores of capable men about. But use caution. A shipload of the King's sailors showed up before night back, causing trouble and knocking about it like they own the place. All right. I'll see who I can muster.
the soldiers have kept a man in irons. They mean to hang him. Now you'll want to sail somewhere rich with plunder. Have you heard of a place called the Observatory? Aye. It's an old legend, like El Dorado or the Fountain of Youth. What have you heard? It's meant to be a treasure of some kind. That's it. See here. Oh, oh rot. It's fairy stories you prefer a gold, is it? It's worth more than gold, Thatch. Ten thousand times above what we could pull off any Spanish ship. Robbing the king to pay his porpoise is how we earn our keep here, lad. It ain't a fortune. It's a fantasy. Morning, Kenway. Not a bad-looking tinderbox you got there. You sound a bit green, horny gold. Is it envy? Because mine's bigger than yours. No, I reckon it's this Jamaican funk. I prefer the Spanish stuff. So, you've got yourself a fancy brig now. Fine. Well, I'm gonna teach you how to sail all right. And how to take a prize the proper way. Thatch. Fishing village. Hi. I have no need for schooling. How many prizes did we take together as privateers? <laughs> There's a chasm of difference between joining a raid and captaining one. There's a prize worth taking. Good! Take us in close. After you subdue a prize, project authority. Demand respect that you would never give yourself. This weaves a spell over soft minds. For your victims must always have in the back of their minds the uneasy idea that you could snap at any moment and unseam them from prick to stern.
Monte Tango, un buen día, señor. I am Captain Hornigold, and this is my crew. We're sailors like yourselves, but quite unalike in our purpose. For we intend to take all that you owe. Yet no harm shall befall any man so long as he remains at ease. Is that clear? No me mate, señor. Tengo familia. Te lo suplico. Anyone speak English? English? Little bit. Tell your friends we're stealing your goods. And we won't hurt nobody if everyone stays as still as a sandbar. You got that? Please to repeat. Oh, for fuck's sake. Lock him in the hold and take everything that isn't nailed down. It's a shaky feeling sailing about with this much stolen cargo. Get used to it. We'll need to take a few more prizes to make this a profitable day. Good take today, Kenway. Half a dozen scores of that size, and you'll be set for a year. Now let's sell this cargo and fix up your jackdaw with a few more trinkets. Sod it, you. I'm looking for a prize that'll set me up for life. I'd be king of the West Indies, then. We came to Nassau to get away from the likes of kings. Well, I'll be a man of property and promise anyway. Jesus, let that dream go, lad. Nassau is the place to be, not England. Do you ever dream of the big score? A ship so full of gold and silver, just split it and sail home. Sure, but it's only a dream. Every man hopes to find a dozen chests of gold with no owners. They're as rare as an honest king. Put him in the... Crowd on every inch of sail! Ghost the gallants and royals! Call them in! Get off the wind! Muzzle that duck, my trumps! Puedo ayudarlo? All armor, of course. Not a bad take today. Keep this up and Nassau will be the first city where men and women may live as God made. Easy and free. All it takes is a few drops of blood, sweat, and a swatch of cloth. We fly no colors out here. Praise the lack of them. So let the black flag signal nothing but your allegiance to man's natural freedoms. This one's yours. Fly it proud. I will. I hand over the docket, I lend you. If we're to keep our Republic... ...guns as well as gold. That means attacking the Navy. So long as they're flying King Philip's colors will not offend our own monarch.
As you've likely seen, the number of merchants roving these waters is three score the number of military ships. Aye, easy purchase, but in small doses. Right. So to lure the Navy out of hiding, it's best to cause a bit of mischief. Catch a few small fish to attract the big ones. That's right. So plunder and pillage as you see fit, Captain Kenway. Rumble, by God. How do we fare? A fine purchase, no mistake. Now I think it's time to lay low and drive our way back into secrecy. Agreed. Away! Away. Blue down! Handsome wind! Incoming fire! Oh, no. 
awesome. You're a wonder, Kenway. You've a knack for this kind of work. It ain't work if you love it. Ah, ah, but I ain't doing this forever, lads. Only until I get enough coin to buy some land and influence back home. Jesus, will you listen to your tripe? Still dreaming on about that strumpet back in England when you could have any better you wanted here and now. Ah, such lofty goals for you gents. And here I thought I was in the company of scoundrels. A fine purchase today. What's the crew's mood? All smiles and no teeth. And there's a few talking about meeting with Master Kid to steal from a nearby plantation. Plantation? It's ambitious. Profitable too, if we can manage it. Aye. It's a good idea.